Hello, my lovely little angels. Welcome back to another episode of Deponia. I have done nothing to prepare myself for this. <laughs> no research, no nothing. Oh yeah, I um, I took a, qu a quick second to uh, make myself some mashed potatoes and uh, ate a little bit. Speaking of. <laughs> so hot. That <gasps> is still glowing hot. Oh wait, 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 I guess I'll have to find the on switch first. Oh, this is stupid. Oh, snap. Whoa! <gasps> Hi. So. To get the ice, we need to play darts. To play darts, we need. The blow dart finger quote thing to get the blow dart we have to prove that we are a real hunter uh but we need the ice to get the potatoes potato ice darts blow dart Please. <laughs> uh oh well I cannot get that that glass back <laughs> that still makes me laugh. Okay. Bees. We cannot interact with the bees other than looking. So, we need to get somebody to play a rotten fruit game. Hey, Lottie, do you want to play a rotten hey, fruit Lotto. game with me? Call me. <coughs> Call me Lottie. <laughs> Let me have another look I don't at want you. To insult Maybe her. I can think of something else you could improve. Be completely honest. You don't have a bust. Rufus, control those wandering eyes. It's very unbecoming. Could be, but where would Lotto have looked? Put your hand on your heart and tell me it's not half a dirty turnip too close. Mm, you're right. Maybe I should remove the underwire from my manly men's corset. I've been constricted by this symbol of androcracy for long enough <clears throat> here be a sweetheart and get this thing out of my sight oh is there anything else you know what that's a fucking mood <laughs> Your legs are too hairy. Oh my goodness. Uh, you're right. Uh, it's a good job I haven't thrown my razor away yet. Ow! Ah! Darn that hurts. Ah! Good job. Hang in there. Ah! Oh, damn it. I'm dying. Ah! I feel for you, buddy. What? Oh, oh, I just mean, <laughs> oh, this sure stings. <laughs> Pfft, cry, baby. Is there anything else? Uh. Your voice is too masculine. Whose voice is too masculine? Uh, did I say masculine? No, a Valkyrie-like. That's, that's what I wanted to say. Better. What you need is a complete makeover. We can go shopping, try on different clothes, groovy music, <laughs> while I stand in front of the fitting room making eloquent facial expressions. <laughs> like this. Or 
this. Or this. <laughs> Finally, it's off to a beauty salon and... Stop! 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 <laughs> I'm sorry to curb your enthusiasm, but there's absolutely nothing to say. I have to slip straight into media stereotypes. Just because I'm a lady now. One transformation is more than enough for one day. Aw, oh, man. Your legs are still too hairy. I'm on it. It's just such hard work. I need something better than this. If only I'd held on to my laser hair remover. Lotto had his hair roots lasered? He was in a cycle. Huh. I think you're fine the way you are. Oh, you charmer. Could you lend me your razor? Not while I still look like a trash can alien lumberjack. Although I would probably have more success with a chainsaw than this blunt thing. Right. Lady okay. Gator. I Oh, I meant, of course, uh, my deepest respect, ma'am. Toodle-o! Hey. Ah! Stop it! There really is an elephant here. You'd better let a professional be the judge of that. I am a professional. Perhaps in claiming to be something that you're not, but certainly not in elephant hunting. Or do you happen to have a hunting license? Stop! Only beginners need a stupid license. Exactly, because the professionals already have one. Hmm. I have to get him drunker. Hi again. Oh. I'll find a way to make you remember. Uh huh. I should probably ask McChronicle about that. Ah. You do that. Oh. Stay vertical. Hey, Mac, do you have a minute? Given the context, would you like to rephrase that question? I'll take that as a yes. How come we remember everything after turning the crank and no one else does? Yes. Wait a minute. That is actually an astoundingly good question. So, I've invented this very complicated headgear for this purpose, but you... Your tinfoil hat protects your memory? Well, it's a bit more complicated than that. For an egghead brain box, maybe. Case solved for me. Dr. Gizmo had to implant this metal plate after someone sabotaged my catapult plan. Well, that could be a factor. But the screening only works if the hat is also lined with straw. Did that Dr. Gizmo insert straw into you as well? <laughs> straw? Oh. Well, main thing, it works, right? Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay, see you See you sooner or later. Neither can be ruled out. Okay, so metal, straw. I might not understand why people use a straw, but I pretty much know how they're used. Oh, you stick in the mud. I heard you get drunk faster if you drink alcohol through a straw. I'm not interested. I am a <coughs> connoisseur. What do you got there? Some object I arbitrarily pulled out of my coat to provoke a funny reaction or a non sequitur. Oh, great. Next time, could you magic up an aspirin? No, that would be neither arbitrary nor funny. <laughs> hmm. What do you got? Th Some object. No. Next. No. Hmm. <gasps> okay. We need to get Nat's piss. Get to him and be like, hey, here's a straw. He takes the straw. And find something that has to do with metal? I don't know. Okay, guys. You know what time it is. It's guide time. 
I'm stucker than a than a possum and tar. I don't know. <laughs> oh. Well, don't I just have egg all over my face? I even thought about doing that too, but look, it's too easy. It's too simple. And... This? Wow! Bullseye! That's won you the darts championship. Here, take the first prize. Prize? Oh boy! What is it? A power inverter. <laughs> Thank you. Do I do it again? <laughs> A duck. <laughs> Never get to it. Oh, we can't get the dart back? I thought that was for the dart. Blow dart. Hey, keep your hands off. Those are the darts championship winning. But we the just want it. Limiter, the spoil sport of the paramechanical component world. Hmm. Open. Open. You go in one of these. Hey. That could fit, but which way around? Nah, whatever. I'm sure it doesn't matter. Chill back mode! Just lean back and enjoy the cool atmosphere. Hey, got it on the first try. I'm obviously on a winning streak. Nice. Uh, thanks, man. That was real necessary. You disturb me. <laughs> Great, they just fell into the grill. I'll never get the potato cooled down like this. <gasps> Do I have to get water in there too? Oh. I'm good. Okay, so... No, that's locked in place. Oh, okay. So... A compartment for paramechanical components. Power inverters, strengtheners, that kind of thing. Hmm. Okay. Oh! Professor Rufus presents the Miracle of Heat Exchange. Sweet. Cool. Now we put the baked potato. What just happened? Oh. Put the baked potato. We have our tin foil. Potato halves. <laughs> And now, go to you. What's that meant to be? Part of a high precision blowpipe, maybe? Ha! <laughs> In your dreams? Well, they've been pretty accurate lately. Huh. Well, we have straw, we have aluminum foil. Want to save some for later? No thanks. There's lots, lots more 
where that came from. Poor buddy. Okay, so, um... <gasps> Here we go. It's the latest thing. Now I'll give it to him. What's that? A tinfoil hat. It'll help you remember. Then leave it where it is. I drink to forget. I don't want you to remember the past. Just the future. <laughs> Sounds like a change of strategy. As I have absolutely no future anyhow, it can't get any worse. That's the spirit. But if it's all the same to you, I'll use my own. Sure, of course. I would too if I... Whoa, 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 wait a minute! <laughs> what? You had a tinfoil hat with you the whole time? Must have been a flash of divine inspiration. I do so love nibbling the wrap off Matt's piss bottles. I did, however, line it with straw in order to... I get it. You had a tinfoil hat. All that work for nothing. How incredibly hilarious. You see me wiping tears of laughter from my crow's feet. <laughs> Can we finally move along here? Be my guest. But with what? Now, I don't want to bore you with details. Just remember this one thing. If history repeats itself, try to stop that pink elephant somehow. Yeah, okay, why not? It's the least I can do. I okay. think so too. So I need to I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do the glass thing yet. I need to I need to get the blow dart no, I need to get the shot I need to get the blow dart so I can get the gun the gun and I give it to him. We also need to set a trap or is that like Huh. I am much confused. Well, this time, uh, apparently everything I just said was wrong, so let's go ahead and turn the crank. <laughs> Do we want to turn back time again? I don't know. It seems less and less like a good idea. Are you sh You realize? Whatever, I can do it over again if need be. The main thing is that the glasses remain intact. Well, yes, but perhaps with a bit more preparation, one could... Too late! Nina, Nina, let me through! I'm a prophet! <laughs> huh? Here we go again. Rufus? Are you there? Where else? Shall we have another go? <laughs> I can hardly wait. Come on. 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 Turn now. A little more to the right. Careful. A sweet wombat. Go back a little. Dodge the vultures, forward a bit, <laughs> and stop. Perfect. Nice! Are you sure that I can leave it here? 100%. Whew. Then the timeline is probably intact again. That means... What is that? Uh, I'm receiving strange values. Values? What are you talking about? No idea. I... Rufus! Quack! It's here! Hurry! Tuck! Uh-oh. What happened? The pink elephant. It was here. I wrestled with it. For a short while, I felt I was winning. But then, it disappeared into the ground. If anything's disappearing around here, it's your grip on reality. But you saw it, too. I'm not so sure anymore. Maybe it was all just my imagination. Yeah. Well, your imagination has a really hard left hook. I know. But enough of that. The glasses are safe and sound. No, Everything else is secondary. I'll go get Tony, and then we're out of here. I fear things will turn out different. I sure hope so. 
Okay, well, the Pyramid of Glasses are still there. Oh, yeah, I did lose everything, didn't I? He's coming! Everyone in position! And then... Oh! Practice. I don't want to see any naked flames near Rufus! May Tetanus be with us! Oh! I didn't see him there last time! Okay, so this is literally right... Out... Whoa! Okay. Ah! So this is like... I'm, I'm mapping out from the first episode... From the first game where everything is now. Okay! So I was really confused that I couldn't recognize anything. He still does the thing! Oh, that makes me happy. <laughs> hey, hey, Rufus! Wait a minute! Not now, Wenzel. I have more important things to do than to listen to your squeaking. You're still a jack-o'-lantern, just the same. Hey. I feel bad for, for dissing Wenzel. Come here. Hey, Wenzel. Hey, Rufus. Fancy around a rotten fruit game? Didn't feel that bad. That was a lot of dialogue. <laughs> Hi there, Snuggle Bunny. <sighs> You'll never believe what happened today. Oh no. What have you gone and done now? Nothing. Why? No fires or explosions. No. Anyone injured or horribly burnt? Animals count too, you know. Nothing of the sort. Well then, you're right. I don't believe you. I have got to tell you about my dream. Can't that wait until after we've left? Uh, well, maybe so. But it was totally awesome. I had almost made it to Elysium. But then your human love went and got in the way. You always say that when your plans fail. But this time it really was like that. You mean in your dream? Oh, yeah, sorry. It was just all so realistic. So the next time you aren't quite sure, if one of your plans appears to be realistic, it's highly likely to be just a dream. We broke up. Yeah. I often dream that, too. At last! A week without the kitchen going up in flames! Well, it wasn't quite like that. Somehow, I was still living with you. Oh, so more like a nightmare. Why are you still together? Oh my gosh! I met an Elysium, a real orbit pixie. Are you getting back at me for dreaming about Cowboy Dodo? You dream about Cowboy Dodo? Every woman dreams of Cowboy Dodo. I think he was in my dream, too. Do I need to be worried, then? It wasn't that kind of dream. Quite the opposite. I really gave him a pounding. Oh. Huh? <laughs> the Organon wanted to blow the pony into bits, but I sure showed them where the wombat's teeth hang. Hmm. Perhaps it's some kind of expression of repressed self-loathing. I'm just saying that because you always end up blowing everything up. Self-loathing? Don't be silly! I'm great! Although, it is somewhat surprising that in my dream, all of the Organon were clones of me. No further questions, right? <laughs> In the end, I sacrificed my life to save Deponia. <laughs> you, of all people! Why not? Do I need to remind you that I donated my lymphatic system for medical research? That doesn't count. They only want it so they can work out how you got the spaghetti in there. Also, you hardly did it out of the milk of human kindness. You did it for a subscription to Surgeons Weekly. I only read it for the articles. Honest. <laughs> At the end, I was old and there was snow everywhere. I thought you had sacrificed yourself. True. Somehow it doesn't fit. I must have survived. But at what price? Everything was so hopelessly broken that I finally blew Deponia to smithereens. That must have been by far the longest, sickest nightmare in history. Mm -hmm. We've been together a while now, haven't we? Oh, you 
You've never understood any of my dreams. The more you tell me, the prouder I am of that fact. Enough talk. Let's go. Yeah, why not? What? No cynical comments? No doubts? No venomous jibes? And not today. I've just about had enough of this place. I can hardly wait to get out of here. Come on, Titch. I still have to pack my crystal glasses and say bye to Pops. <laughs> Precisely. This time, nothing did happen to the glasses. What do you mean, this time? Well, that's, that's nothing you need to worry your pretty head about. The main thing is the glasses are safe and sound, right? Yeah, that would be better for you. Much better. Well, this is going to be one fun balloon trip. <laughs> ah, shut your pie hole. Hey, Wenzel. Hey, Roof. Fancy. So nice to see you again after all this time. But Rufus, we only saw each other yesterday. You wanted to borrow a stepladder, but you ended up using my head instead. D a uh, little mix up. <laughs> you are always making fun of my height. Well, you have to appreciate the little things in life. I see you took the job in the cesspit. Well done. A man should always know his place. Huh. How'd you get on that idea? The wastewater vat, the smell, your general disposition. I just put two and two together. That's not wastewater. The vat is part of the jolly game of rotten fruit. A game with centuries of tradition. You could have at least changed the water. Hey, Tony. Come on, hurry up. So? You got something to say to me? Uh, on to Elysium? I mean, about broken glass. Sheesh, <laughs> broken glass. <laughs> it uh, brings good luck, no? You mean, like the luck of having a completely intact lower jaw? Gonna have to disappoint you there. Ouch! Tony! I'm disappointed in you, Rufus. I always thought you'd be the one to bring a breath of fresh air into this dump. But I got it all wrong. You make the same mistakes again and again and again. It was entertaining the first two or three times, but where's thin by the fourth? Have a great time with your next attempt to reach Elysium, Rufus. If you need me, I'll be with my dad. And for one last time, keeping the fire extinguisher on standby. Tony, wait! Damn it. All because of that damned elephant again. Where's Tuck anyway? He was supposed to keep an eye on things. You just can't trust anyone for anything around here anymore. Hey, Rufus. Not now, McComb Pickle. I have other things on my mind. Bit of girlfriend trouble? Ex-girlfriend. Thanks for that. Oh, jeez, Louise. And that's my fault? Uh, exactly. Because it wouldn't have happened otherwise. Oh, dear. That's just so wrong. Then do something about it. But what if we inflict more harm by doing this? More than we already have? Do you want me to shove your stupid rod up your ass? <laughs> oh, okay then. <laughs> I I'll help you. Whatever the cost. Not yet. I'm gonna find that destructive bloody elephant. If it's the last thing I do... Huh. There they are. The shards of a dysfunctional relationship. Was it really too much to ask for you to prevent this debacle, Kowalski? I've no idea how this could have happened. I think that elephant is just too darn clever for us. Ah, hogwash. They haven't hatched the elephant that could put one over on old Rufus. Perhaps they still need to do that. The indicators are getting denser that, uh, oh, uh, muscle tough? Ah, Mac, perfect timing. Why? What are you planning? I think we went at the whole thing ass backwards. This is a crime scene. There have to be clues traces. With my criminological skill and your Watson ability, we'll have this case solved before the elephant can say ah! 
Please, let's not stick around here for too long. That elephant could still be close by. I sure hope so. I'll put a knot in its trunk so that it never forgets what happens when you mess with Rufus. It is definitely still here. I'm completely certain now. Whatever you saw there is traveling through time. So that's why it's always one step ahead of us. Or behind. Difficult to say. I think I'm feeling sick again. Drink up, Tuck. Time to hunt elephants. shard glows here. Really? Then there's got to be a radiation source close by. Wait. Well, hello there. Aha! Uh -huh. Elephant skin. Ow. As far as I know, elephants don't shed their skins. Yeah, yeah. First you refused to believe in pink elephants, and now all of a sudden you're an expert. Well, to me, that just looks like an ordinary bit of cloth. And the mysterious glow? My guess is tachyon radiation. It happens when matter is moved backwards through time. I'm measuring traces of it in the whole area here, and the broken shard has shifted it into the visible spectrum. Look, if I wanted a lecture, I'd buy myself a ticket for the university. There are no tickets to get to university, merely the numerous classes. Right. And on Junker's Eve, he comes flying over the roofs, bringing gifts. I mean, if that's the kind of crap you teach your students... Wait a minute. Did you say traces? Did I say that? Yes, of course. We can use the shard to make the tatzel worm radiation visible. Come on. I have an idea. efficient than the flashlight method. Oh. That does not look pleasant. Well, can you go over there? What happened though? Did he sneeze? Eh. It won't. Go. Oh, ew, that's disgusting. Huh? Ah. Lever. Ha! A secret lever! I Gentlemen, that looked weird. I present weird. the secret elephant hideout! Oh. Where okay, seriously, Mac, how do you always do that da -da -da thing? Huh? Dad, whatever. There are more important secrets to reveal. Stay behind me. <laughs> wow, that Doesn't... must be the remains of the abandoned mall. Emphasis on abandoned. Exactly. There's no one here. Let's go. One moment. You see that tunnel there? The specimen has used it, and it wasn't that long ago. Then maybe it's still here. Hurrah. China the Bull means. Elephant Hideout is a china shop. Talk about your pseudo-poetic nonsense. Ooh, a tiny cat. Not yet. I'm gonna find that destructive bloody elephant. If it's the last thing I do. Ooh, made on a mission. Let's go. I'll go this way. McChronicle, you take the other path. And what about me? Yeah, you guard the entrance. What? Alone? 
Am I at least gonna be given a weapon? What kind of weapon? Well, any weapon. I've been beaten up enough for one day. Hmm. The signal is getting weaker. We need to hurry if we're to nab your phantom elephant. Typical. As soon as he gets rash, it's all of a sudden my phantom elephant. Ready, Mac? Yes, I am. But... I am not staying here alone. Not without a weapon to defend myself with. You know, if, if the worst happens. Ready, Mac? I... Not... Okay, so... Now I really need to get that... Gun. But how? Last thing I need on my balloon is ballast. Huh? Hey, the door's open. Oh, uh, don't be too hard on him. He's a good lad. He is not. You only like him because he's your best customer. Oh, he, he normally just puts everything on your tab. <laughs> Talking of which, how's your store doing? <sighs> Ding dong. Am I uh, interrupting by any chance? No, you do it on purpose. Kid gloves, Rufus. <laughs> I don't want naked flames in my store. Don't worry, Bernard. I'm, uh, I'm, ca I'm, you know, I'm thingy. Uh, uh, careful? Uh, no, the other one. Okay. Let's see. Huh. Bernard finally got a new shipment. Why didn't he tell me? Ah, a well functioning faucet. Uh, Rufus, uh, do you think you could stop pouring accelerant into the basement of my fireworks shop? I store highly explosive stuff down there. <sighs> if I have to. Okay. No one should ever say I'm uncooperative. Wait, wait, wait. Do we need this? I don't drink fire accelerant anymore. I mean, it was a fun night, but the morning after was terrible. <laughs> so, Tony. Hey, Tony. <sighs> It wasn't me! Oh, really? So you didn't swap my toothpaste for shoe polish? Oh, so that's toothpaste. Or the cake for the Schwanowitz wedding for a foam glue replica? Again, not me. Or the bear trap in the refrigerator. Was that someone else, too? No, that was me. Someone had to do something about the mysterious cake exchanger. And your theory was that a bear was raiding our refrigerator at night. And he sold your diary to Wenzel. Precisely. And I'm sure the glasses are the bear's fault too, right? No, no, that really wasn't me. So who was it? Uh... This is all McChronicle's fault. Who the heck is McChronicle? Some guy with a time machine. I'm jealous. Could you ask him to turn time back so that I don't have to listen to you lie anymore? Well, Tuck was supposed to watch out. You let a hobo look after my most valuable possession? Well, at least he knows all about glasses, right? Ah! It was a pink elephant. <sighs> I'm not sure what's more disappointing, that you broke the glasses or that you aren't even making the slightest effort with your excuses. The pink elephant really exists. Uh, Rufus? I could see you're trying very hard to smooth things over, but uh, could I suggest that you keep 
quiet about the elephant story for now? You're just making it worse. Nah, it may appear that way to a layman. In reality, I'm just taking a run-up. Playing the blame game won't solve the problem. Just like you! Does that mean you're not coming to Elysium with me? There's no way we'd get there anyway. Since we've been together, the success rate of your ingenious plans has been the only constant in my life. A straight zero. But I'm gradually beginning to miss my old constants. Like the number of walls I own, for instance. Originally, four. Or the number of hours a day that the kitchen was not on fire. That used to be 24. Now you're being unfair. You still have lots of constants. Five fingers. Two legs, two parents. Okay. Now you're really scaring me. Say something, Bernard! I'm afraid you're on your own there, buddy. <laughs> but no sweat. You'll do just fine. True. If reconciliation was a martial art, I'd have more black belts than a menswear store. <laughs> you sure have training. I'll straighten this all out, and then you'll apologize. Not this time, Rufus. I'm fed up with going to the mayor for you. Can we show her the... Oh, like, we don't have it anymore. Okay. I see how it is. Miss Burner. Might be a good idea for you to talk to Tony. I don't particularly want to be accused of being in cahoots with you against her again. Yeah, she can be a real handful when she's like this. Well, she's got that from her mother. What are you two whispering about? Oh, uh, nothing, darling. <laughs> I, I was just pointing out to Rufus that I don't approve of his behavior towards you. Hmm, traitor. <laughs> Sorry, you know what she's like? Oh. Rufus, you can't simply dismantle the tap from that tank of accelerant. Sure I can, look! But now it's all pouring into the basement. Oh boy. You know, it seemed like such a good idea at the start. But no problem. I can fix this. Do you have an angle grinder? Oh, you know what? Uh, uh, just leave it for the moment. I'll sort it out later. You're on fire, Bernard. Uh... I can't go talk to him again. Hello, uh, Howdy, Rufus. Well, it Long says time to. no see. <laughs> Speak for yourself. Can I borrow your elephant gun? No! I only loan it out to other big game hunters. I happen to be a big game hunter. Ha! If you were a big game hunter, then you would know that elephants are child's play. Much too easy to hit. Professionals hunt small animals. Ducks! Or rats. A gun like this won't do for them. You need something like a high-precision blowpipe for that. Much more precise. Unfortunately, I'm clean out of darts. And blowpipes. And bees for the nerve poison. Do you know how to catch an elephant? Of course. Why do you think I've got an elephant gun back there? I thought it was to show off. Uh, that too, but elephant hunting is a great tradition for us. It goes back to the days when Hanagul and Hanagus both got the idea of riding over the Amalgalps. I thought they were only looking for fillings for tusks. Which probably didn't make the meeting of their armies any less bloody. <laughs> As you probably know, there's nothing more dangerous than an elephant with a toothache. Well then, bye barbecue. Yeah, whatever. So we've done that. Uh, then it said this. Yeah, fit. Yeah, sticky, and I don't even have any cactus bread with me. Hmm. It's already sticky enough as it is. No. Huh? Wax drawer. Ow! Ah, get out of here! Damn, that won't work! Yes. Same again! Huh! I didn't notice that last time. Let's see. 
As if I hadn't used enough honeyed words on Lottie already. Mm. <laughs> Put on Winslow. Everything on red. But Rufus, if you want to play, all you need is an opponent. And then maybe some plasters for the bite wounds. And that's supposed to be a game? Sounds like my relationship with Tony. This reminds me of my borderline barbecue crash course. It's too bad to crash. Hey, Wenzel. Hey, you fancy around. You'll never believe all the stuff that's happened to me today. Hmm, let me guess. You tried to get to Elysium, but you fell down somewhere and you bumped your head? Beep. Wrong. I had a vision of the future. Then, I ran into this scruffy McMuffin guy who had a time machine, and now I'm being terrorized by a pink elephant. <laughs> That sounds exciting, but perhaps we shouldn't dismiss the head bump theory. <laughs> Rotten fruit game? That doesn't sound jolly at all. More like someone should maybe take a thick book with them when they take a dump. It's quite simple. Each player tries to place three or four of their fruit type in one row. Without gloves, you get boils from just watching. Rats are the bigger problem. Those critters are just mad for rotten fruit. Ugh. Why would anyone ever want to play that? Because the winner will receive an almost brand new small game hunter's license from the estate of the previous year's champion. That's why the game is only 18 plus. Mm, well, and because every participant is automatically qualified to take part in the adult tombola. Yeah, and a round of infectious diseases roulette. Well then. Let the games begin. Do you have someone to play against? Me, me. Yes, exactly. What about the rat boy? He's not allowed to play. Huh? Why not? Because he's still too young. Oh. I have to be going. My cup. Rat boy. So you want to be a rat man? Oh. Not really. Then I have just the thing for you. So, uh, how does that feel? Silly. At all. Exactly. Ah! So please behave accordingly. Well then, let the games begin. Do you have someone to play against? Uh, of course. This adult rat man here. That's not allowed. It's a game for adults. I am an adult. Precisely. You can tell by the thick beard. You forget that I've been standing next to you the whole time? That is not his beard. What could be more masculine than stealing a stranger's beard? I say he plays. You can't go over my head and decide that. Have you looked in the mirror lately? <laughs> uh, to be honest, it's a bit high up for me. <sighs> okay. <laughs> he can play. Oh, boy! Uh, I, I mean... Oh, man. On your marks. Rotten fruit at the ready. And... Place! All right. Oh. Like tic tac toe. We uh. have a winner. Oh. It's a put up job. The rat man trained his little friends. Maybe or maybe not. But I demand a rematch. <laughs> you obviously don't know when to stop. I'm beating you again and again. Yeah, you just keep telling yourself that, Captain Crunchy. Okay, Tooth. I know how to play. Okay, I know what to do well now. Well then, another game. As you wish. On your marks. Rotten fruit at the ready. And place. Basket. I'm not gonna let you win that easy again. Ah! Thank you. Ah! <gasps> oh, that 
it's decided then. Nothing's decided. Okay, one more time. Well, then, one more time. I got game. this. <sighs> On your mind. And... Always do the middle. Then nothing's this. One more, one well, last then, time. I'm gonna game. get this. As you wish. On your marks. Decided. All right, guys, I got it in this one here, but I'm gonna get it next time. I feel it in my boots. So, tune in next time <laughs> for the next episode where I cream this rat man. <laughs> Toodaloo!